Hello and welcome to Cataclysm University. My name is Vormithrax and this is course number nine where we will be talking about the auto pickup rules. So as part of the inventory management in the game you want to know all the various ways that you can simplify and speed up your life in Cataclysm. It's just chock full of items. There are thousands upon thousands of items in the game and inventory management is really critical to know all the different features and functions that are available that will make the gameplay smoother and faster. So here is another way that you can improve your gameplay through a game function that not a lot of people know about. Um, what I'm referring to is the auto pickup feature or rules. So let's say, for example, that there's an item that we need to pick up constantly. So I've got rocks and arrows in my inventory currently. Let's say, for example, that I'm trying to build a stone fireplace for my base and I have to go collect 40 stones from the fields and wherever I can locate stones. Well, one way to do that is to step up next to a stone, examine it, pick it up, and so on. It takes a lot of key presses to do that and you gotta stop and run through a bunch of various things in order to get that done. So as an alternative to doing that, what you can do is set some auto pickup rules. And there's a couple of ways to do this. One, you can go to your inventory if you happen to already have an item that you want to make sure it picks up. So let's say rocks, for example. You go into the detail screen, and at the very bottom of the list, there's this auto pickup choice. And you just highlight that and press enter or use the plus key. That will then tell the program that you would like to add the rock to the character pickup rules. So character is important. There's both global pickup settings and character pickup settings, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment, but you'll see in the note section here that rock has been added to the character pickup rules. So now, if I just step onto any space containing that exact object, my character sees a rock and picks it up. So all I have to do is walk over it. No going into inventory screens, no examining and using the arrow keys and the enter keys. Saves me a ton of keyboard presses and time. So let's go ahead and drop some rocks back in a few spots here, just in case we want to ex do another example. That's fine. All right, so next up. I mentioned the first way, so you press enter and you can go and set the auto pickup rule, and that sets the object as a character pickup rule for that specific character for that specific object. The other way you can set this up is through a global rules setting. You can press your escape key, go to auto pickup manager, and this is a screen that will list or allow you to edit any of the pickup rules that are currently active in game. Now first thing to note is there is a global setting screen and a character setting screen and you can use the tab key to switch between the two. So currently I have no global rules set up for auto pickup and under character I have rock set up as a rule. So I'm going to delete this rock setup and you can see across the top here you can add, remove, copy, move, enable, disable, and test. So let's just use the uh, remove. So I just press R and that is now gone. I'm going to switch back to the global tab. You can press A to add and it'll ask pick up rule. And an important thing here to distinguish is read this section. You may or may not be familiar with wildcard characters from programming but you can use an asterisk to indicate a wild card and you can see here what happens when you do. So it's important because there are so many objects in the game world that sometimes you want to pick up something that you want to distinguish between a larger subset or a large set. You want a subset of that. So what do I mean by that? Well, arrows, for example, there are a lot of different kinds of arrows. If you have an example of an arrow that you do want to specifically pick up, you can just open it in your inventory, use that menu option I already showed you, and it'll pick up that exact type of arrow. It'll put the full exact name in there. So if I, for example, just do a pickup rule for star, arrow, star, the star means anything is valid before the word arrow, anything is valid after the word arrow. I just want every single thing in the game that contains the word arrow. So if I press enter, that is now set. So I've got a global pickup rule for anything, arrow, anything. 
And the next thing to note is you can either enable or disable, and all that does is either activate or deactivate, so it'll highlight or be grayed out. So it's currently enabled and it's kind of a brighter whitish color. If I hit disable, it'll then switch to kind of a grayer color, and I'll do it a few times here so you can see the color difference. And that's the only indication of whether it's enabled or not, so is the color difference. Um, now the next thing I want to mention is the test button. So now that I've set my parameter, so I've told it that I want to pick up everything that contains the word arrow, I don't care what's before or after that word, I can hit T for test, and it's going to show you every single object that it identified that is going to meet that requirement. So if I step on any of these objects, they're all going to get picked up automatically. Now, if I want to be more specific, I have to change this rule setting. Either type in the exact name of the particular item. Metal arrow, for example, would only pick up this exact thing. Um, or change the parameters some way. So, you can see the list. It's quite the list. Eh, 16 or so items, so not too... Oh, no, 30 items. So, it goes all the way down to carbon fiber arrow. So... If I don't want to be choosy and I just want to pick up every single arrow I happen to stand on, this is a way to do it. So now that I have that set, I'm going to say save changes, yes. And if I walk over to these arrows on the floor, as soon as I step on them, they automatically get picked up. So very, very useful. It'll save you a bunch of time for certain things that you know you want to go pick up specifically. Now, another use for it is things like science ID cards, military ID cards. So I know a lot of people will go and set up in their auto pickup manager. They'll add and they'll put star card star and then they'll do a test on it just to double check and you can see everything that's going to pick up. So it's going to grab carding panels, memory cards, discount cards. So I only care about the military ID card and the science ID card. So I could change my pickup rule slightly to improve and not pick up all that other random stuff. So let's go to edit. Uh, just press the enter key to edit. Um, we're going to change this and I'm going to put... We're going to leave the star, but we're going to put ID card in the middle. Like so. Alright, and then we're going to test and now, it's only going to grab the military ID card and the science ID card, which is exactly what I want. So I want to always have a global rule for any characters. Anytime I step on a space that's going to contain either one of these, it'll automatically scoop it up and put it in my inventory so I won't accidentally forget it. Save changes. And now, from now on, all I have to do is walk on top of bodies. And so if I kill zombie scientists or soldiers, I'll just walk on the body and it'll auto-pick up those types of items. So you can very quickly get a good idea of just how powerful this can be. You do have to be a little careful with your settings. You don't want to have too broad a category for the auto pickup. Do make sure any time that you set an auto pickup rule that you do test it. So to be aware that when you select star arrow star, you're telling the system you want to pick up any of these 30 some objects, not just the arrows that you happen to be firing currently. It'll grab them all. So just be a little careful there. Um, the other options are fairly obvious. So another thing you can do is turn on or off the entire pickup management system. So you can hit S to switch it to false. So that basically disables the entire uh, auto pickups uh, function. So as long as that's turned on and you've got some rules set, then you're good to go. So you can add, remove, copy, move, enable, disable, test. Arrow keys are to move around between items, enter to edit a particular entry, and then tab switches between global and character. All right, I think that just about covers it for this particular course. I hope you found the information helpful. Look forward to seeing you in future courses. Of course, if you have any further questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, the best way to do that is to go to the Discord channel. I've got linked down below in the description and post your inf questions there. I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. If I'm not available, there's lots of other folks that are very knowledgeable about the game that would be happy to help as well. So, hope you uh, enjoyed the episode and have a great day.